Hello, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please consider like hitting the like button, share, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for future uploads and activities. Psalm 91 is from the King James Version. He is my refuge and my fortress. Psalms are messages that God sent to Moses, who instituted them as an oral tradition that later became established on paper by King David. The main characteristic of the Psalms is that they are songs of praise of glorification because they do not contain wishes or requests. We have the songs of David, King David, and also it's all called it's also called at times or referred to as the Psalms of David. Psalm 91 is a psalm that highlights its strength and power, protection in the Bible. All over the world, people praise and pray this um, psalm as if it were a prayer. To enjoy the full power of protection of this psalm, it's no use to um, to read it with like cadence or with melody, just like poems or just read it like verses, like um, um Pros. Psalm chapter 91 verse 1 He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. In the hiding place said in this verse is your secret place, your mind, your inner self. What's on your mind only you know. So it's considered your secret place and it's in your mind that you come into contact with the presence of God in the moment of prayer of praise of contemplation and it is in your secret place that you meet the divine that you feel his pres presence verse 2 I will say of the Lord he is my refuge and my fortress my God in him will I trust when you say these verses, you surrender yourself, body and soul, to God, trusting with all your heart that He is your Father and Protector, and that He will stand by you to protect and guide you throughout your life. It is the same trust that the baby puts in his mother when they are little children. The mother that protects, cares, loves so much that the child feels completely comfortable and safe. With this verse, you place your trust in the infinite ocean of love that is God within you. Verse 4, verse 3, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Verse 4, He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. The meaning of these verses is very explicit and easy to understand. In them, God shows that he will deliver his children from all evil, from disease, from the perils of the world, from evil doers, and from under their wings, as birds do with their young. Verse 5, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Verse 6, Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. These two verses are very strong and need understanding. When we go to sleep, everything that is in our mind is amplified in our subconscious. Therefore, it's very important to go to sleep with peace of mind, to have a quiet night, and wake up with joy. Therefore, it's essential to forgive yourself and everyone around you before going to sleep, asking God for blessings and contemplating the great truths of the Lord before you fall asleep. The arrow that flies by day and the destruction that rages at noon refer to all the negative energy and evil thoughts that we are subjected every day. All the prejudice, all the envy, all the negativity that we are immersed in our day-to-day will not reach us if we are under divine protection. The distraction at noon means the difficulty we encounter in our life when we are awake and aware, the emotional, financial, health, and self-esteem problems. Night terror is the problem that plagues our minds and hearts, which can get magnified when we are off sleeping. All these evils and dangers are sheltered and are turned away when we pray Psalm 91 and ask for the protection of God. 
Verse 7, A thousand shall fall at thy sight, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Verse 8, Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold, and see the reward of the wicked. This verse show how you can develop strength and immunity and protection against any evil. If you are under the shield of God, divine protection deflects the path of bullets, prevents the development of disease, repels negative energies, and deflects the path of accidents. If God is with you, you need not fear. Nothing will reach you. Verse 9, Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. Verse 10, There shall be no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling when you have faith trust and assert each of the previous verses of this psalm you make god your ref refuge being sure that god loves you guides you protects you and is constantly in contact with you you will make the most higher dwelling your home and your place of refuge in this way there is no need to fear anything no harm will come to you or to your home verse 11 for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways verse 12 they shall bear up thee in their hands lest thou dash thy foot against a stone in this verse we understand how god will protect us and save us from all evils through his messengers the angels it is they who guide us who give us impulses of inspiration bring us spontaneous ideas that come to mind give us warnings that make us alert not just to think twice before acting push us away from people and places that can bring us the evil protect us from all the danger angels follow the divine guidelines to advise protect give answers and suggest ways verse 13 Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet, because he had set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. By making God our refuge and the most higher dwelling, you will see that all the shadows will dissipate. You will be able to identify good and evil and thus choose the best path. God will fill your heart and mind with full wisdom. To follow the path of peace, be above your problems. To free yourself from all the ills of the world. Verse 15, He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Verse 16, With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. At the end of the verse, God reinforces our commitment to us, assures us that he will be with us in all the situations and with his infinite kindness and intelligence will give us the answers we need to know the path of goodness god assures us that to make him our refuge and habitation praise god with all this knowledge and wisdom thank you for watching stay safe under god's protection in jesus name we pray amen and amen